Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're diving deep into the 2024 Titans Grand Prix Pro Classic Physique results, the first show to kick off the 2025 Olympia qualification season. With the qualification window for the 2024 Olympia already closed, these athletes are now aiming to secure their spot for next year's Olympia. We saw a mix of new faces, returning veterans and rising stars on the stage, making this an exciting and competitive event. So let's break down the complete results and dive into how each bodybuilder performed. Starting off with 12th place, we have Elijah Dixon from Arvada. Elijah Dixon last competed at the Mid-USA Pro 2023, where he took 7th place. In this show, however, he dropped to 12th, and it's clear that he still has some work to do to compete with the best. His physique lacks the muscle mass and overall conditioning needed to place higher in classic physique. The potential is there, but he'll need to focus on building more muscle and tightening up his conditioning. Elijah will need to take this result as motivation to push harder for improvements. He's still young and has plenty of time to grow, so don't count him out just yet. Moving on to 11th place, we have John Goodman from California. John Goodman is an athlete who made the jump from the men's physique division to classic physique. This was John's first time competing in classic physique, and while he gave it his all, the transition from men's physique is not easy. The classic physique division demands more muscle density and overall development, which John still needs to work on. His shape is there, but he needs time to build more size and improve his stage presence in this division. Making it to 11th in his debut is a good start, and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on his progress in future shows. In 10th place, we have Daniel Sullivan from Alabama. Daniel Sullivan last competed at the Tupelo Pro 2023, where he finished in 15th place. This time around, Daniel showed some improvements, managing to crack the top 10 with a 10th place finish. His physique is starting to come together, but there's still room for improvement, particularly in his overall muscle thickness and conditioning. Daniel has shown that he can improve between shows, and if he keeps working hard, we could see him climbing the rankings in future competitions. At 9th place, we have Antoine Hamlet from Canada. Antoine Hamlet is an Olympian athlete who made his mark in 2019 by winning the Vancouver Pro and placing runner-up at the Toronto Pro in the same year. He went on to compete at the 2019 Olympia, where he finished 16th in his debut. After a five-year break from competition, Antoine made his comeback at the Titans Grand Prix. While it's great to see him back, his 9th place finish was a bit of a disappointment compared to his 2019 performances. He'll need to put in more work to regain the form that saw him dominate back in the day. Antoine has the experience, but he'll need to build more muscle mass and bring better conditioning if he wants to compete with the top guys again. In 8th place, we have Victor Ruiz from Mexico. Victor Ruiz has been busy this year, recently competing at both the Tampa Pro 2024 and the Tupelo Pro 2024, where he placed 16th and 6th respectively, his 8th place finish here at the Titans Grand Prix is another sign of his slow but steady progress. Victor has shown improvements in his conditioning and stage presence, but he still needs to add more muscle mass and refine his posing. His 8th place finish is a step in the right direction, and with continued hard work, he could start cracking higher placements in the future. At 7th place, we have Aaron Aramini from Canada. Aaron Aramini recently placed 12th at the Florida Pro 2024, and he managed to improve on that result here at the Titans Grand Prix by finishing 7th. Aaron has one of the more shredded physiques in the lineup, showcasing impressive muscle separation and fiber detail, especially in his chest. His physique is definitely on the right track, but he'll need to add more muscle mass and continue refining his conditioning if he wants to break into the top spots. Nonetheless, this is a solid result for Aaron, and we look forward to seeing him compete again. At 6th place, we have Darnell Ferguson from California. Darnell Ferguson is another athlete making a return after a long break. He last competed 6 years ago at the 2018 Olympia, where he finished 16th. Darnell also had strong showings that year, placing 8th at the Legion Sports Fest Pro and 3rd at the Pittsburgh Pro. After being away from the stage for so long, Darnell returned with a solid 6th place finish, which is impressive after such a long hiatus. His physique still looks strong, and with more time to dial in his conditioning and make some improvements, we could see him climbing the ranks again. Now we're entering the top five. In fifth place, we have Thomas Adam from the USA. 
Thomas Adam has already qualified for the 2024 Olympia after winning the Tri-City Pro Show earlier this year. He also placed third at the Charlotte Cup Pro, so he's had a strong season so far. Thomas brought his signature aesthetic and peeled physique to the Titans Grand Prix, showcasing a beautifully conditioned and well-balanced body. Standing a bit shorter than some of his competitors, Thomas makes up for it with excellent muscle density and proportions. His fifth place finish here is solid, and he's definitely someone to watch out for on the Olympia stage next month. In fourth place, we have Andy Paradis from the USA. Andy Paradis recently earned his IFBB Pro card at the 2023 NPC USA Championships, and this show marked his pro debut. For a debut, taking fourth place is a huge achievement. Andy brought a very balanced classic look with impressive symmetry and conditioning. His structure fits the classic physique division perfectly, and with more time to build muscle and refine his posing, Andy has a bright future ahead of him in this division. For a debut performance, this is an outstanding result. In third place, we have Breno Freyer from Brazil. Breno Freyer recently won the Florida Pro 2024 and is already qualified for the 2024 Olympia. Breno has a tall, aesthetic physique that fits perfectly into the classic physique division. His quads are sharp, his muscle bellies are full, and his overall conditioning is excellent. However, at the Titans Grand Prix, he couldn't replicate his Florida Pro win, and he finished third here. Still, Breno is one of the top athletes heading into the 2024 Olympia, and with some fine-tuning, he'll be a major contender on the big stage. At runner-up, we have Nathaniel Joyner from the USA. Nathaniel Joyner won the 2023 Hurricane Pro, earning his qualification for the 2024 Olympia. He's quickly becoming a rising star in the classic physique division. Nathaniel brought a beautifully balanced, symmetrical physique with sharp conditioning to the Titans Grand Prix. He narrowly missed out on the top spot, taking second place. While Nathaniel's shape and lines are impressive, he may need to add more size to stand out even more at the Olympia. Still, this was a great showing, and he'll be one to watch on the Olympia stage. Finally, taking first place and winning the 2024 Titans Grand Prix is Michael Dabol from Kuwait. Michael Dabol has been on fire this season. He placed sixth at the 2023 Olympia, then went on to win the Muscleglitest Austria Pro, securing his spot for the 2024 Olympia. He also competed in the 2024 Arnold Classic USA and UK Pro, where he took fifth and fourth places, respectively. At the Titans Grand Prix, Michael brought his best package yet, showcasing improved muscle size, separation, and conditioning from his last Arnold Classic competition. His quads and chest were particularly impressive, showing deep separation and fullness. With this win, Michael has now secured his qualification for the 2025 Olympia, and he's proving that he's a force to be reckoned with. And that wraps up the complete results for the 2024 Titans Grand Prix Pro Classic Physique. What a show! We saw veterans return, rising stars shine, and some impressive debuts. Let us know in the comments who impressed you the most, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more bodybuilding updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.